Now we'll discuss about torque or moment of a force. So first of all, going to an example. I will say that we experience torque in everyday life. So torque is 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 something that we actually experience in our everyday life, but we don't know how this happened. So first of all, take an example about a door. Suppose this is a door. This is a door. And this is a handle of the door. So now I make three point. Point A, point B, and point C. And this is the part that is actually connected, or we can say that this is the static part of the uh, uh, of the door because it actually connected to a uh, towards our wall. And this is our handle uh, of this door. So if I say that we ha we have to apply force F at all three points. We'll apply force at point A. We'll apply force at point B. We'll apply force at point C. And these three forces actually are equal. What will happen? When we push this at point A, it will easy to shut the door. It will be more difficult at point B to shut the door. But at point C, it is much more difficult to shut the door. Why this is happened? Different point a different point but same force but we couldn't uh, shut the door proper uh, we couldn't shut the door uh, every day or we, in some point we can easily shut the door but in some point we cannot easily shut the door it or it is much more difficult or sometimes it is impossible so why it is happened why it is happened the reason of this whole experience is torque So what is torque? The torque says that the torque or moment of a force about a chosen axis is the product of the force and its moment arm. So it says that torque or moment of a force is something that the product of the force and its moment arm. Product of the force and its moment arm. Suppose the distance between the moment arm is R. So we can say that torque equals to F into R. <coughs> So now uh, let me remove this part to understand torque. So suppose this is an this is some wooden plant and it actually rotates about an x6. This point O, this is x O y. This at at this axis, this whole whole body is rotating. This whole uh, wooden plank is rotating. So here one point we have to remember this that if the line of action of the force is parallel to the plane, suppose if I put force parallel to the plane, or suppose I acted force there, so there is no rotation. I uh, I act a force in that point. There is no rotation. Why this has happened? Because because magnitude of the moment of force or torque is measured by the product of the magnitude of the force and the perpendicular distance d of the action of the force from the axis of rotation. So there is one point we have to remember that this. This is depend on magnitude of the force. So one one point is magnitude of the force, and another point is point two is the perpendicular distance. The perpendicular. the perpendicular distance perpendicular distance d of the action of the force of the 
action of the force from the axis of rotation from the axis of rotation so suppose i put f force i put f force at that point that the i actually uh, i actually acted f force at that point we name this thing as n o c and this the distance from this uh, c point from the origin o is suppose r and the perpendicular distance d of the action of the force is d so this is d and suppose it the force acted at angle of theta at the angle of theta and as this point is perpendicular so this is 90 degree so we can say that from sin theta from the suppose this is d point we can say that for triangle OCD or triangle OCD okay let me change the color from the triangle OCD for sin theta for sin theta we can say that sin theta equals to d sin theta equals to d by r or you can say that d equals to r sin theta and we know that the torque is something like torque is the magnitude of the force magnitude of the force and the perpendicular distance d of the action of the force from the axis of the rotation and their product so this is the product of by the definition so for d we can represent d as f into r sin of theta r into r sin of theta so as we find out that there is a theta of sine angle so if this theta equals to zero degree as if i put a force at the angle of zero degree that means per, uh, pr, uh, parallel parallel to the axis parallel to the uh, plank or uh, not axis parallel to the plane or the surface then the torque will be zero when it will be maximum if the theta equals to, when the theta is 90 degree then the torque will be maximum so this is the concept of torque here one thing we have to remember that torque is a vector quantity and force is also a vector quantity and this is the uh, uh, position vector here r is a position vector and this is sine theta and as this is all a vector quantity and we found that there is a sine theta so we can write for torque t tau equals to f cross r because we know we discussed it in our vector chapter that when two vector when two vector product is a vector product then this vector uh, multiplication is known as cross product so this is the cross product so we also can say that so we also can say that the definition of torque we can say that for an object moving about an axis so for an this is an object a b and this is the axis x o y the cross product of the position vector of the point where the force is applied suppose we applied force at that point so this is the position vector r cross point where the force is applied and the force applied at that point so this is f so this cost product is called torque tau this okay this symbol is known as tau this symbol is known as tau so here is another here is a thing we have to remember that for for vector representation it will always be r cross f not f cross r so here we actually mistake it so we have to write it as r cross f 
so this is the main concept of thought now we will see what is the relationship between relation between torque and angular acceleration angular acceleration okay so if we, if we write the if we write the formula of torque torque is r f for f we can say that we know in the in our uh, laws of motion according to newton's second law we can say that f equals to m a mass the product of mass and acceleration is known as force and in our other lecture we know that there is a relationship between linear acceleration and angular acceleration so it is known as linear acceleration a equals to angular acceleration alpha into r so and here is the r also a position vector this r and this r all is same so we can write r into m into alpha r. and for here we can write this thing as m r square into alpha this m r square is known as moment of inertia i this is known as moment of inertia i so we will discuss this moment of inertia in our uh, next lectures but uh, from for this lecture please remember that in a moment of inertia is mass into rotational axis uh, the distance between uh, the position vector is square the position vector is square mass into position vector is square is known as inertia we will discuss inertia briefly in our next lecture but for this lecture please uh, remember this thing is the the product uh, the product of mass and the position vector is square is known as inertia so this is the relationship between torque and angular acceleration so we can say that torque equals to i alpha the product of moment of inertia into angular acceleration is known as torque now coming to the next one is the angular moment what is angular moment the turning movement of a particle about the axis of rotation is called the angular momentum of the particle and is measured by the product of the linear momentum and the perpendicular distance of the line of the action from the axis of rotation suppose this is a car suppose this is a car a a particle is moving from this point to this point and the uh, and the uh, mass of this particle is m the mass of the of this particle is m and it move along this a b curves a v curve so the and it moves m with the velocity of v this is the linear velocity so the linear linear momentum p equals to mv we discussed it in the in our previous chapter chapter that uh, momentum is uh, the product of mass into velocity so this is the linear momentum here uh, when the particle is at position suppose at position n so its position vector is r its position vector from the central is r so according to the definition of angular momentum we can write this thing as l equals to l equals to the angular momentum is say that the the turning particle about the axis of rotation called the angular moment of the particle and is measured by the product of the linear momentum linear momentum and the perpendicular distance of the line of action of the line of action perpendicular distance of the line of action suppose uh, to measure the line of action we write okay okay so we have to draw a tangent so we have to draw a tangent to measure the perpendicular distance suppose this is the tangent so the perpendicular distance 
of the line of action is suppose this this is perpendicular and it create an angle theta not here it create an angle theta at that point so this is the perpendicular distance for this perpendicular distance we can write this thing as r sine theta r sine theta if we want to find out this uh, value of this line it will come up the uh, come up that it is actually equals to r sine theta so it is known it, it says that the linear momentum p into the perpendicular distance of the line so, so there is the perpendicular distance is r sine theta so we can write this thing as mvr sine of theta mvr sine of theta uh, so now here here also linear momentum l is a vector quantity and here v and r also a vector quantity so we can write this thing as or we can write this thing as p into r sine theta as this is sine theta so and this is a vector quantity so we can write this thing as r cross p r cross p so we can also say that angular momentum is the cross product of uh, cross product of position vector into the linear momentum is also known as angular momentum we can say that say that angular the definition of angular momentum in such way also so now we have to find out the relationship between relation between angular momentum and angular momentum and angular velocity angular velocity by the definition of angular momentum we find out that angular momentum is linear momentum into uh, position vector for linear momentum we can write the linear momentum as m vr into r oh sorry not m vr it is m v into r and we know a uh, there is a relationship between position vector uh, not position vector uh, linear velocity and angular velocity the, the relationship between linear velocity v and angular velocity omega is v equals to omega r this r and this r is equal so we can write this thing as for v we can write this as m omega r into r or you can write this thing as m r square omega and we know we represent this m r square as moment of inertia i so we can write this thing as i omega so for linear momentum we can write l equals to i omega l equals to i omega this is omega so this is omega so this is the relationship between linear uh, angular momentum and angular velocity in this lecture we discuss about angular uh, we discuss about torque and angular momentum this is something we have to remember and that will help us to understand newton's law of circular motion briefly so that's all for today's video please like this video and do subscribe to our channel thank you